going on, everybody? Welcome back to Gay Student. Today, guys, welcome back to another episode of Conspiracy Theories with Ike. That's right. So today, guys, um, today's theory is going to be a little bit out of this world, if you will. Uh, pun intended. If you saw the title of this, you know why. Um, but yeah, so today's going to be a theory. Um, I'll go ahead and give you the name of the theory. So if you want to pause and do your own research or whatever. Today, we're going to be talking about Mars is a warning. So specifically the planet Mars, just in case you were confused with a Mars bar or, you know, I don't know. But anyways, so today, before we get into the theory, I want to give everybody a special thank you for continuing to subscribe to our channel. We are at 200 subscribers, sorry, 200, zero, zero, that is right. We are doing great, and I'm really happy about it, um, as you can tell probably. I've been uh, really looking forward to continuing to grow the channel. And it feels like just yesterday, literally just yesterday, that we were at 100 subscribers, and I promised you guys 100 subscribers video, and then I didn't give it to you because I procrastinated. Um, and not necessarily that I procrastinated, I was trying to come up with a good idea, but by the time I finally kind of came up with a good idea, I was going to go and do a video with Salsa, and you know, he lives in a different state than I do, so we were going to try and collaborate so that way we could do a video together, but things didn't really work out that way. And then 200 subscribers kind of was rolling around. I'm like, okay, we'll just have to wait. So coming in November, this is an official, yes, this is happening on, ideally we're going to do this on Black Friday. So this is a preliminary announcement. The Black Friday episode of Geek Stew will be the 200 subscribers video. And I'm going to make it a live conversation with Salsa and Ike. That is right. We are going to have it to where me and Salsa are in the same room for the first time ever. And we're going to have a conversation about the conspiracy or the control over C, the conspiracy theories, like basically the entirety of Geek Stew from start to finish. And it's going to be a 100% real conversation with, um, with Salsa. Now Salsa does not want to reveal his identity, so he will be under wraps probably, probably wear a gas mask or something, but we're definitely going to do it. That's the plan. Black Friday next month. You're going to see a 200 subscribers video with me and Salsa. But that, with that announcement out of the way, we're going to move right into the theory. Today, guys, let's talk about Mars is a warning. jump into this with some context that's right so um now since we've introduced context back into these videos a couple videos ago i won't do the whole context thing but it's a little tired and drawn out but today we're going to do some context so if you didn't know <laughs> mars is the fourth planet from the sun yeah no shit sherlock um i really can't believe that i'm having to say that but i just already saw somebody like in my brain like i just had like this thought that somebody would comment under the video like what's mars or you know and like i wouldn't know if they're being serious or not because who's to say uh so just for the for the purpose of transparency we're talking about the red planet mars um fourth planet from the sun and again in case you didn't know so a couple of things about mars that maybe you did know maybe you didn't know there are a shit ton of theories about mars a couple that might be important to this theory first and foremost if you didn't know there's water on mars it's in the form of ice of some kind but it's there um so that along with a couple other discoveries and some things that happened in the 70s and some different expeditions um we've kind of come to the realization that mars could have or could be potentially inhabitable if given the right you know circumstances not only that uh was mars inhabitable or was mars inhabited at a time before right or is there evidence of life on mars or evidence of some form of life in the past um so there's a lot that kind of goes into that those are a whole lot of other theories but what i wanted to mostly give you in form of context was that mars is a planet we have done some expedition to mars um, we've sent some rovers there, obviously the Mars rovers, uh, things of that nature. So we know that Mars as the planet, it, it obviously it exists. You know, we're not claiming that Mars doesn't exist. There are some theories that Mars and other planets do in fact not exist, that we are the only planet in our solar system that we're just kind of floating there. Um, but that's another theory for another day. So 
this theory assumes that Mars exists and all the stuff that I told you, water on Mars, the possibility of life on Mars, all of that are important for the next part of this, which is going to be the theory. But with the context out of the way, Mars is a planet. Mars has water. Mars has theorized to have been an inhabitable or inhabited planet in the past. And we have continued to try and find ways to go to Mars in an attempt to see if we can make it habitable. That's those are all facts. Now we need to talk about the theory that Mars is a warning, but a warning for what? Before we get into the theory, I do want to go ahead and give a um, small, <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess I give a small warning that there isn't a whole lot of evidence for the truth of this theory per se. So keep in mind that we're going to be working on a lot of assumptions as to what the theory means. So Mars is a warning kind of works the theory that Mars was or had an ancient civilization similar to ours attempt to inhabit it and that Mars was similar to Earth but something happened and Mars was lost. So you're probably asking yourself, what happened to Mars? Why do people think it was inhabitable? And I kind of gave you some context why people think that it was inhabitable or was inhabited at one time. There's a lot of different theories about like supposed life on Mars. There was actually a really good theory about in the seventies, we took an expedition there um, and we sent some rovers out and that the theory says that we did in fact find life on Mars, but we kept it a secret from civil our civilization. So the civilization that was on Mars went on to destroy itself with a nuclear war. The backup for that theory is that the very identifiable red hue of the planet Mars is indicative of a nuclear fallout or some nuclear war where basically the entire like planet was completely destroyed and made to be an, in an uninhabitable because of the fallout. <clears throat> so the planet then stood as a reminder of what happens when nuclear weapons get out of control and when you fall into a nuclear war. So that's pretty much the end of the theory. Um, the, the really the main hypotheses of this, uh, I guess you could say, is that people try and like they, they project this theory and they do it by saying, you know, hey, Mars is very similar in some ways to Earth, right? Very kind of similar gravity, kind of similar to this, kind of similar to that. And there are areas of Mars that we have observed through microscopes and our telescopes, not microscopes. That's different, different thing. Tela is out micro is like small shit um not talking yeah but anyways uh so mars at one point was a habitable planet potentially ha inhabited by a civilization similar to ours they destroyed themselves with nuclear war and the planet was destroyed because of the fallout there is some um, and again we kind of go back get back on track there are some things that we can observe on the planet that look like damage or craters or just very large like things like chunks of the you know like the terrain that are missing and some people theorize that rather than these being natural occurrences that these are the results of maybe bombs dropping or of the civilization crumbling and whatnot and so i guess to kind of make a long story short because of all of this, because of the war that happened, Mars is no longer inhabitable. And Mars is also a warning to future generations what would happen if a nuclear war were to break out again. Now, here's here's sort of like a convenient retcon to this, is that a lot of people like to say that the reason we don't know about this is because the records were lost with prior civilizations because they sent people to Earth to inhabit Earth as an attempt to... Um, continue the civilization a lot of people kind of connect this into like an adam and eve story where only a handful of people maybe even only two people were sent down to repopulate earth 
and that the Garden of Eden was like the their like base of operations and stuff. So there's all kinds of cool stuff like that that you know people have added onto this theory. But the base theory is that Mars is a warning of what would happen if nuclear warfare got out of hand. But we have no conclusive evidence of this because records were lost as a part of the progression of time. Very convenient retcon, like I said, um, because I mean you could I could literally say, yeah, we have 100% evidence that dragons are real just they got the records got lost with time or you know unicorns are real but the records were lost with time so you could really realistically say anything is real or could have existed and just say that records were lost with time but tldr mars is a warning of what happens if we let nuclear war happen and nuclear weapons get out of control on earth basically blowing ourselves up causing earth to no longer be inhabitable and then we have to scoot off onto the next planet which god knows where so now I want to get into final thoughts and I just want to kind of give you my take on the theory and whether or not I think it's real or not. So let's kind of transition to that. So now we can approach final thoughts. So we kind of covered a lot of different things uh, in a very short amount of time. So this video might be a little shorter because there's not a whole whole lot to go over with this but it's like it's one of those theories that i probably could have slipped in another theory if i really condensed it but i wanted to flesh out some ideas real quick um this isn't of course a very long drawn out hypothesis it's basically just saying that the way mars looks one could assume that something happened that destroyed the planet and in this case they're uh, they're uh they're kind of proposing that what destroyed the planet was in fact nuclear warfare um with that being said it's again hard to prove because you and i can't really go to mars and just walk around and figure it out there are a lot of different things that happen on mars that would prevent us from really truthfully finding out whatever happened and again there's no living record <laughs> that we know of that would prove that mars was destroyed by nuclear warfare so in my opinion um before we kind of mold into like the closing here my opinion on this theory is that it's probably not true. Now, I do believe that Mars probably at one point was inhabited by some form of life form. Um, I, I think that even if that life form is just microscopic, like a bacteria, that there has or is life on Mars um, to, some re to, to some respect. Don't know how, don't know who, don't know why. But I just think that based on what we've seen so far, that it wouldn't be a too far-fetched guess or assumption to say that someone could have lived on Mars. But obviously, there's a lot more that we need to go into, like our research and everything else to kind of prove that. So I'll put that on the back burner for another time. But do I think that humanity, that we as a prior civilization, lived on Mars and then escaped from Mars because of nuclear warfare? Not really. Um, I think that there's a lot of things that you and I would have to really just let go in order to the in order for the theory to be really true for us. We would really have to be like, yeah, we lived on Mars and we have no proof of that, but there's some sketchy things about Mars. And we knew about we, we knew about the whole like nuclear stuff. We knew about that on Mars. How do we know about it on Earth? Not really sure, it just kind of happened. But yeah, nuclear stuff happened on Mars. So there's a lot of stuff that we have to really just kind of forego in regards to just reasoning and rationale. And I feel like that if we dive too deep into that, we're gonna have to let go of a lot more in order to believe it. So to me, not so believable, but a good theory nonetheless. I mean, it w I wouldn't put it past the civilization such as ours to destroy ourselves with you know, nuclear warfare and then escape to another planet and destroy that one too. So go figure. Um, so we're going to go ahead and close out here. Uh, before I stop out, uh, I don't think I said it earlier, but the big thanks to Cicada 1205 for the Conspiracy Theory Iceberg. It is a wonderful, wonderful iceberg that I have enjoyed getting to talk about. I commented a few times on the actual iceberg itself. So if you want to go check out the Reddit, go for it. Um, and I am still, of course, uh, I mentioned this in a previous video, I am still working on a Discord for the Geeks Through page. So hopefully we'll have that out pretty soon so that way people can, um, you know, chat and put some input in. Uh, we want to make some different chat rooms for some of our different topics for like Control Over C and Geeks Do and like questions for Q&As and stuff. Um, but yeah, so we're going to continue to do that. 
And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, me and Salsa will be doing a video for the 200 subscribers, um, a very special live conversation between me and Salsa. And I want to go ahead and ask now. I should have asked it earlier, but I didn't. But I want to ask now. Please, 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 please ask us some questions. I do have some questions that I've built up over time that I think would be interesting for he and I to ask and answer. But I want to get some questions from you guys. So that way I can include you in the video, but also include questions that I didn't just come up with. Um, so yeah, continue to ask some questions, even if it's just random shit like, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Your favorite restaurant? Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it out there. Go ahead and check out the rest of our channel. We do two videos a week, Control Over Sale on Wednesday and Conspiracy Theories with Ike on Fridays. Fridays may change up depending on what we're doing that week, but continue to subscribe, continue to like, share, favorite, all of that good shit. Um, follow us on social media. We're trying to get some more interactions on social media. So Twitter and Facebook are the big ones. I have a TikTok as well that I will add at the end in the description if you want to follow it. I do kind of post on there every now and then, not as consistently as I do on YouTube or the other pages, but we want to get some more interaction. So please follow us. You won't be sorry. So we're going to close it out there. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead. And like I said, do all the things I already said. I'm not going to say it all again. That'd be redundant, but thank you again. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, stay awesome. And we will see you in the next one. See ya.